this is Wavertree. That's Wavertree High Street. That's Wavertree Clock Tower. Pitton Clock, Wavertree Clock. That's the coffee house. That's the cinema that was attested to in the uh, Beatles song, which I'll refer to in a longer video. But today I'm doing the jail, which is built with yellow sandstone. Um, yeah, that is supposed to be yellow. It's a two-story building, and they would lock people up of a night time when they were a bit, a bit, bit worse for wear with the alcohol. It, uh, it, it's open in June, June or July for a couple of weeks, and it's open in September. Um, I thought I might be able to look through the door but I can't. The original roof was flat but apparently the drunkard's friends used to get into them and help get them out. <laughs> Hi ho. But yet yeah, they would spend the night in there and sober up and if it was full any more drunken revellers would have to spend the night Oops, nearly went after the tip. We'd have to spend the night at the local constabulary's own house and he would charge them two shillings to spend the night. I'll leave that there for you for a minute. And you can press pause. It's two stories. They did actually floor off the top one, and um, so it is only when you when it when they open it up, it is only open the single floor now. Um, it's got a little tiny fireplace in it and bare stone, um, bare stone beds basically. Now it's on what looks like a little park. But this is actually, according to Wikipedia, um, the only piece of common land left in Liverpool. So, we got pigeons up there on the uh, not working weather vane. Um, it was this was adapted by James Picton, Sir James Picton. He's a resident and local architect. Now that road there is Picton Road. Halfway down, it changes from Wavertree Road to Picton Road, and um, he built that clock tower as a monument to his wife which I'll do in another video because it's cold and I'm going to go warm. Um, so we'll uh, come back to this. So thank you very much for watching. Hope it was interesting.